Hello people YouTube, how are you today? It's me Abby and today I am going to be doing a foundation review. I have not done this on my channel in like forever. Like I think it's been a year now and I think the last one I tested, I think the last foundation I reviewed was the Juvia's Place foundation and I love that foundation. I've done videos where I've done like full get ready with me or trying out new products but I haven't done like a specific foundation review and today i don't know why i got so excited when i saw this product because profusion is one of my favorite brands because literally everything they have is extremely cheap like under ten dollars and also the fact that I, in my opinion it's really good quality like their blushes i've mentioned this before all the time especially on my uh, makeup instagram which if you're not following link in the description below what are you doing but their blushes are like literally my favorite thing on planet earth and i used to love the bronzers um they're still pretty good i just prefer what i do now but for all their blushes are the only blush i tend to use and people are like use something else and i'm like no i like it but anyways i saw that profusion had come out with a new foundation it is the profusion Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector Hyaluronic Acid Medium to Full Coverage Natural Satin Finish SPF 15. And when I saw this, I don't know why, I literally got so excited. No, more excited than anybody should be for a foundation. But we're going to be trying this out today. But before we try it out, I'm look. Mama's looking a little rough. My hair looks like shit today. I can't do anything about it. I need to wash it and I don't feel like washing it because... I'm trying to keep this, this color for as long as I possibly can. If you hear that, that's my nephew outside. And, like, I think I've mentioned this before, but I need my window open because there's, like, no AC in this room. And finally, it's cold, so I need as much cold air as I can get. So, sorry if you hear them. But before I can get into the foundation review, I need to pop on some brows, my eyes, and then I'll be right back. So... Okay guys, I'm back. I did my eyebrows. Lately I've just been penciling them in, not doing pomade, which is weird for me. But I've been really lazy and I actually grew them back out. And I've been liking how they look. I used the Raw Beauty Christie palette again today. I freaking love this palette and I finally used the colorful side. And I did a halo eye because Raw Beauty Christie always does halo eyes and I love how they look on her. So I am loving how this is looking. We are going to finally try out the foundation. So let's get started. Okay, now it's time to try the Profusion Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector. I am so excited to try this, guys. I'm going to try it with a sponge, and if that doesn't work, then I'll go to a brush. Just to show you, it is really a um, thick foundation. I may have poured too much, but I'm also going to be blending down my neck like I always do. But let's see how th this is. The claims on it is that it's like medium to full coverage, which is what I really love. I'm more of a medium to full coverage fan, so let's just get started. medium what the medium to full coverage okay that is like full coverage all the way by the way this foundation was like six forty seven six dollars and forty seven cents which i thought was a weird specific number at the time like why not just make it six dollars and fifty cents or you know but so far this is really good this is supposed to be a um satin foundation so far it has a little bit of a satin finish it's very it's full coverage, but it almost looks like skin-like, which I 100% prefer. So I'm really excited so far. And I think I got a good color. I got light one, warm yellow. And I always get foundations that say yellow or warm or golden because of the fact that I do have warmer undertones. Even though I might appear to be more neutral, I just have really sensitive skin. So I, I come off a little bit more red. Sorry, that took me a second to get out. Also, if you see somebody in the background, that's my sister, and she's getting ready, too. Um, say hi, Jalen. My face is white. <laughs> she's albino. Very white. Mm-hmm. This isn't looking bad. Look at this. Jay? Isn't that good? Yeah. Yeah, it's a cheap-ass foundation, too. Profusion is known for like having good products but it's like very cheap the brand is not expensive at all it is a little on the uh darker side for me but it's more of like my tan shade like my summer shade but it's working out really nicely for me okay here's the number one test is that 
if it shows up good on my nose that's how I know for a fact I'm probably gonna like it because my nose it is not clinging anywhere at all not even in my creases which is pretty interesting I'm really liking this foundation so far oh my god how come nobody is talking about this like literally I feel like I'm the only one let's see I wish I've gotten, I would have gotten one shade lighter, but their shade range wasn't the best because the thing is I got like warm one, like light one and they didn't have like, like light zero because after that it was fair three and then fair one. They didn't have like a fair two um, at my local Walmart. But you know, I can make this work. The color is just a little too dark for like my winter shade because I have lost my tan. But, you know, I can make it work. It is just very, it's like very slightly darker. It's not a problem at all. I'm just saying that I wish the shade range was just a little bit bigger. But, you know, so far it's really good. Come in. <gasps> Monster! Mm. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Do you like my makeup? that kid I am no I don't sweet maybe later I'll go we'll go to the candy supermarket and I'll get you something okay freaking love that kid I love him so much okay guys I have the foundation completely applied I mean holy crap for a foundation that is six dollars I I'm so far I'm in love not even a hundred percent joking it looks amazing on my skin it has a little bit more of a matteness to it because like, don't get me wrong i am satin i'm getting like that satin glow but it does you can definitely feel it just a teeny teeny little bit which i don't mind that it is a foundation um i also wanted to let you know that it has 1.1 fluid ounces which i think is interesting because here's another foundation that has 1.1 fluid ounces and this doesn't look like it actually has a lot of foundation in it versus something like this but, you know, maybe it's just how the packaging is. I am not a, a big fan of the packaging. I think it's interesting, but it, for me, it kind of looks like a sunscreen, in my opinion. Even though it does have sunscreen in it, which I'm also not a fan of in foundation. But so far, it's really good. I'm going to put concealer on and my powder. And, and I'm also going to do the rest of my face off camera. And when I come back, I'm going to show you the full meal deal to see how it, it looks with everything on. Okay guys, my makeup is done. What do you think? I love how this look came out. I went very colorful today. In fact, not as colorful as I thought I was gonna go because I was wanting to play with literally, I wanted to play with every single color because I love this hot pink. It's so freaking gorgeous. But you know what? I'm, I had to go to my roots. I keep talking about how I love greens so much and I haven't done a green look in forever. And I love how this look came out. I mean, it looks very cute. It's very poppy, very eye-grabbing. And then I did a very dewy skin look. Even though this is a satin foundation, it did dry down a little bit more on the matte side, which I'm not mad at because my favorite foundation is a demi-matte formula, even though I am dry skin. I've mentioned this before, the L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation is one of my favorites of all time. It's really good. And this foundation in particular is doing amazing. Like, even with powder, look at my skin. But yeah, the foundation is looking really good. I'm gonna do a full day wear test and I'm gonna do like a couple hours check-in throughout the day. So I think I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. Be back. Okay guys, it has been two hours since I've had the makeup on and everything's wearing quite nicely right now. Charlie's in the car. Say hi, Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. He doesn't like the car way too much. I'm in here with Jalen. Hi, Jay. But for real i'm really liking this foundation i am getting a little bit like slight lines in my face but i kind of understand that considering this is a very full coverage foundation and i do feel it just a teeny bit but in general i still think it looks really good i think that it has a nice little satin feel to it the matte feeling that i had earlier completely went away i am really liking it i will let you know how it's wearing in the next couple more hours Hey guys, another makeup check-in. I've officially had the makeup on for about four hours now and everything's holding up really nicely. It is starting to look very makeup-y. Um, not like cakey, but it is 
looking a little bit powdery. I feel like next time I wear it, I can't put too much powder on because it's like satin, but it has a matte feel to it, if that makes sense. But everything is wearing quite nicely. I am getting some lines around here, but it's right, they were really bad after the first hour, but they're like kind of settling down now. But yeah, my makeup's wearing really well. If you see that, um, my eyes were watering like crazy earlier. And if you hear the gunshots, my nephew right now is playing um, Call of Duty and I can't do anything about it. But yeah, in other words, I like how the makeup is looking and I'm gonna see how it wears uh, for a couple more hours and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, it has been officially 13 fucking hours since I've had this foundation on. And to be honest with you, it held up pretty good. Don't mind this. This is, I've, I've been watching my nephews for like the last six hours and I'm fucking tired. My one nephew, he's eight months old and tonight he did not want to fucking sleep for me. He was crying, he was fussy and he's never like this for me. I mean, never. And if you, if you hear him, he's still fussy right now. My sister's trying to put him to sleep and... I'm just fucking tired right now. I'm I'm kind of pissed off too. I'm not gonna lie. I I this is the one of the reasons why I will never and I mean never ha fucking have kids. Never. I I cannot deal with this 24/7. I'm fucking tired and I want to go to bed and take off my makeup. But back to the foundation. I don't hate it. It it the thing is around the um eight hour mark, it did look super cakey. It is looking cakey still. Like I could touch it and it's just coming right off but i am surprised how well it did hold up um besides this by the way that is for my nephew scratching the hell out of my chin right now when you clip his nails sorry but i 1000 percent recommend this foundation you know it worked very well um profusion great job okay guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like comment down below and subscribe to my channel click the little bell icon to see more videos from me and have a great night bye Thank you.